That's that's what I got here. Lego, by the way, is also the plural of Lego. And, and I happen to have a box, which to my knowledge is currently not available in stores. <clears throat> it's the Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time, the ostrich race set right here. And that I know of uh, really marks the first time, at least that I have seen ostriches. Certainly, this would be the first time I will have touched ostriches, at least in the Lego capacity. I've had ostrich before. I don't know if I'd eat this ostrich. Either way, uh, it was a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, someone who uh, works with Lego said, hey, you like Lego, don't you? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and they said, would you like to take a look at the ostrich race? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and so they sent it to me. Uh, that's you know, what they did. So now I get to assemble uh, the ostrich race. Now, I, I have not actually seen the movie, uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, but you know me. I mean, I, how many Lego sets have I built on the live video feed? How, how many times have I talked about Lego? How many other Lego fans do we have in the community? I'm telling you, they're out there. I know they're out there. This should be a, a pretty quick set to assemble considering there's only 169 pieces. Uh, now, another cool thing. No, 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 no. You don't love Legos, you love Lego. Remember, I said at the beginning of the video, the plural of Lego is Lego. Okay, just get that out of the way. There's no S there in Lego. The cool thing about uh, this particular Lego set is not only do I get Lego ostriches, and there's two, so I guess I could start my collection for... Uh, Noah's Ark Lego set, if I ever chose to build that, because, uh, you know, two by two. Uh, and I, I don't mean the brick, you know, a two by two. <laughs> two. But this has actually got uh, uh, a torso minifig. Like, uh, there's no uh, there's no shirt on this Lego guy right there. Got his, his pecs and muscles. I don't know if that's uh, the Jake Gyllenhaal's character in the Prince of uh, Persia, the Sands of Time movie. Uh, either way, uh, I can now take this uh, minifig torso and put a nerdy head on top. And, uh, and it's me, right, with some hair. So I can be, it's because it's very lifelike, the pecs on here, for, I mean, as far as, you know, Lego minifigs are concerned. Uh, and then it also happens to come with a Lego scorpion, right? This is a Lego scorpion, and uh, it only has one Lego scorpion in the kit, so I'd need to get another one in order to, you know, continue with my whole idea of a, a Noah's Ark Lego set, uh, even though I'm not hugely religious ah, it'd just be kind of uh, I think no it wasn't the scorpion I thought it was a scorpion that bit me but it was the plastic <clears throat> so uh, the set should be pretty easy to assemble you will be seeing me assemble them uh, the pieces uh, together here in the live video feed pretty quick pretty easy and uh, you know I, I really like the fact honestly that Lego is doing this when I was a kid and we had to do everything ourselves I mean we we, there was no, like, you know, torsos of people that, you know, had their pecs and their six-packs. I mean, you had to pretend that, you know, a Lego had, you know, was, was built and everything. Uh, I like the fact that they're, you know, co-branding with, uh, you know, like Star Wars and Indiana Jones, uh, all the way through to Toy Story, uh, you know, the Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time. Uh, you know, obviously they've got a relationship with Disney going on. Uh, it's It's neat. You know, I, this, I grew up, and I even uploaded the first video of, of my first uh, Lego unboxing, my first Lego experience, really, uh, and and have continued with Lego all through the years. Uh, you know, this is a, 
this is something that I don't think I'm ever going to uh, grow weary of. It's just fun to build Lego sets. Um, and I love minifigs. I collect the minifigs, actually. Some people do, too. You can buy lots of minifigs online, uh, just a handful uh, of, of pieces that people have assembled. It's just kind of neat. I, just, I don't know. There's something about it that just, I, I just like. And by the way, the, uh, the faces on, uh, on two, at least two of the minifigs are reversible. So you can make this guy, uh, on, uh, this minifig, I'm sorry you can't tell. This looks like a little pixel here. Uh, on one side, he's like, here, I'll, I'll emulate it. That's one side. And then on the other side, he's like, so you can twist him around and, and make him have a different expression. And then this guy is all, with this head, I just took it off his body, not like it matters. This guy's all, and he's bearded too. Just pretend there's a beard here. He's like, and then on the other side, he's like, with a mustache and a beard. So they got different expressions going on here with the Lego minifigs. So, you know, you could easily mix and match, uh, you know, if you want. And oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the main character's uh, head, and he's all like this. Seriously, if you buy the, if you look at the set, you could go back to my facial expressions, and I'm telling you, they match. I know my Lego minifig head expressions pretty well. I've been, uh, you know, doing this for a number of years now. You know, it says... Uh, oh, ages six to 12. I'm a little past the demographic, but, uh, <clears throat> my maturity level is probably right in there. <laughs> Hopefully they did not make a mistake by sending me the ostrich race. I'm very grateful that someone in uh, the Lego community reached out and with any luck, uh, this is just the first of many Lego sets that I, I will be able to assemble in front of the live video feed. I've done it before, I'll do it again. Uh, it's just kind of fun. And at the end of the day, I've got you know something to show for it that uh, you know becomes a, a piece somewhere in my house. This house is gonna be overrun by Lego at some point in the future. <clears throat> Either way, I, I'm curious to know. My, my first Lego set was one of the generic uh, sets, just a handful of building blocks. It was long before they were doing uh, co-branded experiences. What was your first Lego set? Um, if you can remember, what, what were for some of the first things that you built, uh, in the, uh, the Lego universe? Uh, and, and are you still into Lego? Uh, they, they have, you know, uh, people who, uh, have conventions actually here in Seattle. There's a huge, uh, Lego convention specifically for adults. I mean, kids, you know, aren't really encouraged to, to go to those events because, uh, they're, they're really for big kids. Legos for kids of all ages. I think that's just more of a guideline. I... Hope to God I wouldn't get turned away at the store if I, you know, got a, a Lego kit that, you know, had the a six to twelve label on it. <clears throat> Has that ever happened? Has anybody been turned away? It's, it's Lego, not Legos. Lego. Lego. If you learn nothing from this video, nothing. At least you've learned that. And the next time. Someone writes Legos, you can correct them. And even uh, Wikipedia will back me up on this. And I believe Lego will as well. I think that's their official statement. It's Lego, not Legos. L-E-G-O. -E Any sets you looking to collect? Any sets that I should be looking to collect? Let me know. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Come. I've been sharing this experience, of course, with 444 people watching me live. Not everybody, of course, chatting. I think the chat room got moderated probably for good reason. Geeks.perillo.com. We have other Lego fans there. In fact, I think we have a couple of Lego geek groups over there. Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo. YouTube.com slash Chris Perillo. Or Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. <clears throat> Also got this chat room here. We're typically talking tech. Sometimes we're talking about what I happen to be doing here in my home office. Did I get so excited that I knocked my screensaver? Sorry about that. Back to the entertainment behind me. Pay no attention to the man behind the video, as most people do. <clears throat> Either way, we are typically talking tech. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right here in the chat room. In this live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll eel